Hey friends. I'm gonna wait for you to get online. I'm going to invite several of you to join me. We're in the church sanctuary where it's dark. As it was just before sunrise so many years ago. The women were getting ready they were getting ready to leave their homes to go take care of business that, that morning. And I'll be honest, as I was getting dressed this morning, I fluctuated between what I should wear. Should I wear all of my Easter finery? Or should I wear work clothes? Go into work clothes. The women that Easter, first Easter morning wore work clothes. They were going to do a job. And so I stand in this sanctuary and you can barely see the outline of the cross there. The sun peeking in the windows. And I wonder what those women were thinking as they prepared to go to the tomb. But what they encountered there is not what they expected. Instead of darkness, there was light, glorious light, and an empty tomb. And while it is past sunrise here, can't really tell, it's kind of a gray day. But the sun will rise. For it is a beautiful day. Christ is risen. We know this. And just as the disciples came out of their houses eventually and went out to spread the word, so too we will leave our houses eventually. We don't have to wait till we leave our houses to spread the word. We have a unique opportunity right now to reach people like we have never have before. If this had happened even five years ago, we wouldn't have had the online capability that we have now. So those of you watching this morning, who will watch this later, hear these words. Now is the time. Now is the time to spread your voice. Those disciples so long ago, those women, they had no idea how far their, their testimony would go. They planted seeds that are planting seeds 2,000 years later. You never know the impact your words will have on someone. And with the online capability of living in infamy, what we say or write 
will, li will outlive us. And one of my favorite books is Outlive Your Life by Max Lucado. And that's what we all need to do, is outlive our own lives. What we say and do in this life resonates farther than we can ever imagine. So as we celebrate this great day, I encourage you to celebrate and not to mourn. To use this time for good. To be a positive influence. And you too will outlive your life. So as many of you know, I've been reading through the Psalms this month. And yesterday's reading was included in there was Psalm 111. Trying to juggle my Bible and keep my phone on the cross. So, let's read Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord! All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. All he does is just and good, and all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true, to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. And of course, verse 9 of that chapter 111 in Psalms, that full ransom is Jesus' own life. He paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed... <clears throat> Guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. So as we celebrate this day, I pray, Lord, that we do indeed celebrate this day. We thank you, Lord, for the full ransom you paid for our lives. that we now have the opportunity to go forth as you commanded, to go forth and make disciples of Jesus Christ, to transform this world. For indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And so we thank you, Lord, for this great day where we honor you. Amen. Go in God's peace, friends. I will um, be praying for all of you all day. I won't be seeing you online today, but I encourage you to join us on the radio at 10 o'clock, um, 100.1 if you're in the Hastings area. If you're not in the Hastings area, WBCH, um, I encourage you to join us and listen online if you're not in the Hastings area, where Pastor Bryce from Green Street United Methodist, Linnea Stifler from Emmanuel Ep Episcopal, and I will bring you the word this morning. We each got 20 minutes, so I encourage you to listen to the entire hour and hear 
perspectives, three different perspectives on this day. And then at some point during the day, join us online as we watch the bishop's service. And that can be found at michiganumc.org. Um, and there will be a link to their Easter page from there. And I encourage you to join us. Because Christ is risen. Christ has risen indeed. Go forth and reach out to people in hope and love because of God's love for us. Amen.